Hello there, good people, and welcome to It's a Shaw Thing. I'm your host, Rob Shaw. We're talking some fantasy football today, my friends. Big doings in the NFL, to say the least. Oh boy, two coaches have been axed. Time to discuss the fantasy repercussions, and that brings us to St. Louis. One decision already thrust upon Jim Haslett. The fact is Randy McMichael is going to be out the next eight weeks because of a broken shin bone. Tough break for any fantasy manager who had this guy. Started the season off well with 77 receiving yards. Has had two receptions at least in every game this season. This is a guy who was on pace for over 500 receiving yards. Well, now he's out. He's gone for a while. In comes Joe Klopfenstein. This is a guy who's been on the bench, formerly a second-round pick. He has some potential there. Of course, watch from a distance. Let's see if he does anything. If so, maybe not a bad option to start during a bye week for your starting tight end. As far as the quarterback position, who's going to be throwing him the ball? The answer is simple. Mark Bolger, of course. Any normal coach would make that decision, wouldn't you think? Well, apparently so, because Haslett's making the call right now, and he's saying that Bolger is back in. That's got to make Steven Jackson pretty happy, a guy who's very critical about the fact that someone seven years the elder of Bolger started this past weekend, of course, which they lost. So Bolger will get his opportunity to start once again. Better fantasy numbers, perhaps, for Torrey Holt. Also, he might want to consider picking up Bolger He's probably available on a lot of waiver wires at this moment. This is a guy who a couple of weeks from now could have some fantasy value, particularly when Drew Bennett does get healthy. All right, next up, let's talk about the Cincinnati Bengals. Apparently, Maurice Claret was not available, so they're going to be settling for Cedric Benson. Benson, of course, was let go by the Chicago Bears last season because he was inconsistent, injury-prone, and an issue off the field. Aside from that, he was great. Oh, boy. All right, Cedric Benson, a guy who was formerly a top-five pick. They invested a lot in him. Clearly, they didn't want to let go of him if they didn't force the hand. He did force the hand, which explains why perhaps out of desperation the Bengals are bringing him in. Kenny Watson, the backup running back, is injured right now, not expected to play this weekend. They're going to need a backup, so Benson will fit that role. Chris Perry also a little banged up in the past, so this is a guy who's injury prone. Benson might get a chance to eventually start for this team. Right now, probably anywhere from 3 to 10 carries per week. Don't pick him up at all, but certainly keep an eye on him. If you are desperate for a running back, if he does become a starter, you never know. Obviously, he had potential to be a top five pick to begin with. All right, now about the Pittsburgh Steelers. Talk about bad luck. Willie Parker already injured, so they put that rookie in there. Rashard Mendenhall gets injured for the remainder of the season. Uh, now what? Well, Moel De Moore will be the starting running back for that team, but they also just signed Najee Davenport. Big talent out of Miami, hasn't done all that much for his career. He's a good short yardage guy, so he might get some goal line opportunities. Not much to expect there from the running game. So on that note, Big Ben, Santonio Holmes, Heath Miller, Heinz Ward should have some increased fantasy value over the short term because of the fact that they're going to have to move the ball in the air if they want to move it at all. Moel de Moore, not the worst fantasy option to start, but at the same time, let's go with the safer guys. And finally, some quick news and notes. you got to know about the Philadelphia Eagles running back situation. People who drafted Westbrook with a second pick overall can't be too pleased. He still remains questionable, apparently having trouble with his cuts, and that's, part of his best, that's one of his best features of his running a game. So Buckhalter maintained some fantasy value this weekend. Keep an eye on Westbrook. There's a good chance he is not going to play. Aaron Rodgers of the Green Bay Packers tells us he will play this weekend. He's got a favorable matchup against the Atlanta Falcons, but at the same time, he did not look all that good this past week, and a lot of people feared a separated shoulder. Apparently, it's just a sprain, but at the same time, if you're cautious and you have better options, you want to, might want to keep him glued to the bench. Well, my friends, that's it. It's a Shaw thing for now. Until next time, I'll see you right here at OpenSports.com. So you think you can tackle a pro? There's only one way to find out. Click on fantasy at opensports.com.